guys and welcome to MRTV. I am Maria and today I'm by myself. <laughs> yes, I am solo today, guys. I needed to come here so we can recap, I mean, go over the glitch in the last video because I know you're wondering. So, let me get my blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food that you are that I'm receiving in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If this is your first time watching MR TV, hey, thank you for coming. Consider subscribing. Then hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Get us with a thumbs up. All right, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And to my returning family members, thank you all so much. I truly appreciate you. Okay, so we're having tacos. All right, I got me some um, Fago uh, twist. How is everyone's day going? Oh my gosh, this thing just broke. Oh well, I can't, I got to go on. And so I just have me some regular tacos here, but I do have my taco sauce. I have some taco ranch. And y'all, I looked in the refrigerator. I ain't even had no sour cream. But look how God work. I found this from the carry house. DoorDash is on point. Okay. And I got some stuff. I'm just going to go ahead on and build. My hands is clean. This is mine. I'm going to go ahead on and put my stuff on here with you guys. I hope you all are having an awesome day. I really do. An awesome day. Today is what, Wednesday? Is today Wednesday? No, Tuesday. Can't even get it together. Okay. Having a good Tuesday. I hope you guys are enjoying Slay Timber. I have been having an awesome time doing this. This is a this is something that's going to help my channel and that's the whole purpose for this to challenge ourselves to see if we can put out continuous content you know and hopefully after September we all be on the same point now will I be putting them out every day no but this is something that I wanted to participate in because hey it helps your channel so why not you know you get to help other people as well Oh, and I forgot I had some um, bread and butter pickles by McClure's. I've never had their pickles before, so. But I do love um, bread and butter pickles, so. I'm going to put these are kind of big, so. I'm only going to put two in here in each one. I guess I should have tasted it first, huh? Mmm. That's a good pickle. Mm -hmm. So you guys, I honestly don't know what happened with that video glitch. The slow-mo towards the end of the video, I don't know. But let me tell you, when you have some awesome people in your corner, Vicky's World contacted me and was like, sis, do you know that your video is going in slow mo? She was like, I thought, excuse me, y'all know I get moist, so I can't be sweating up here. She said, so I thought you were just going to be taking like the slow mo crunch and it never left. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know. So I truly appreciate her for calling me. And letting me know, you know, that I had that going on in there because I really didn't know. And then later on, her and the essence of Sonia called me and was like, hey, sis, let's, have, let's try to help you get this taken care of, right? And we were on the phone for like over an hour, I'm sure, 
trying to figure it out. And I'm, it, it's, it might be a way. We just couldn't figure it out. But I'm going to practice on it. You know, and that's a, another thing. This is what Slate Timber is all about. You know, you, you're finding out a lot of things. You're learning new things. It's just an awesome thing to do. Let me try to get this sour cream on here. So, I was like, well, there's nothing else we can do. You know, so we're going to leave it just like it is. I made sure to put a comment in the video, you know, apologizing because I don't know. Y'all know. I don't know me putting that down like that. So, hey, it is what it is. You, you learn, you let go, and you try not to do it again. <laughs> and I don't even know what I did, so I can't even say that. Because I do not. I guess my finger must have hit something. And that was that. I don't know. My finger must have hit something. Thumbnail. All righty. Give me some of this. Uh, you can't see it on here, but my MRTV is on the glass somewhere. It's just clear. So let's get into these tacos, you guys. Mm, here, let me give y'all y'all bite. Here you go. Before I've been to forget. Mm, mm, mm. Anybody who's been watching me for a while? No. Nachos and tacos. My favorite. Mm. Now, I love tacos and nachos, but my favorite homemade meal is meatloaf, mac and cheese, and green beans. I love it. Meatloaf is my favorite. That was the, my favorite meal that my mom made. And when I got home from school and I smelled that meatloaf coming in the door, oh, I was so happy. I was so happy. Because she used to hook it up. She was a great cook. So, I ate good. And you know, back then, mostly everything you ate was homemade. By the time you got McDonald's or Burger King, shoot, that was a treat. For real. If I got McDonald's or Burger King twice a week, it was a treat. Twice a week, it was a treat. So, uh -huh. my mama did not play that. Mm -mm. And then it made it so bad. I literally stayed on the street. McDonald's was on. So I smelled it every day. Oh my gosh. It was literally on the corner. And you could smell it. Oh, it was so good. So good. Mm -mm. funny not having the cowboy next to me. I feel alone. <laughs> Is that making <laughs> I feel alone. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. I don't remember the last time I done a video by myself. Unless it was maybe an unboxing, but like a mukbang video. It's been a minute. But I missed the cowboy up here with me. But he at work. Mm-hmm. But he could ever walk in at any time, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And y'all, I gotta ask y'all this. Because I don't know what's going on. So, people really don't seem to want to work. I don't know how many times I done tried to get somebody to come and cut the grass. And when we talk to them, they all good. Okay, yeah, I got you. You know, and then they don't show. They don't call. And it wasn't just one. It was, a, it's been at least four. At least four. One guy came with his son, you know, and said, you know, their father and son duo and all this, that, and the other. The son had his little cards and Boom, boom, boom. We asked them how much you charge. You know, we're not saying, you know, what well, we're only paying. Because, you know, they'll be like, well. We said, well, how much would you charge to cut the front, get the back, get the bushes, you know, all that stuff. You give us the price. We say, okay, no problem. So, this one, he came. Um, He came the first day. Him and his son. Now, they only was able to get. No, they did the whole thing. They did the whole thing. They did the front, the back. But he was supposed to come back and finish up the bushes and stuff on the side of the garage and get all the bushes and edge them up and all of that. So, he said he'd be back the next day. Next day can no show. No show. I'm like, why are we not being responsible with our businesses? You could have called and said, I'm not gonna make it. Can I come another day? So, we was like, okay, we waited till the next day. Nothing. So the doctor ended up calling him and was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll get somebody else to do the job. He didn't say, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. What was I thinking? Oh, boom, boom, boom. He was like, okay, thank you for the opportunity. What? Is that it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What, 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 what type of business you running? I don't get it. Here, get y'all one more pack. Here you go. I don't get it. And you're not a young, you know, I'm not saying young people can't get it together, but you accept different things when you're dealing with like a 17-year-old who may be trying to cut some grass and get some money or whatever. You're a full-fledged man, whole man. With a teenage son. Okay. So. Then. Yeah. We called somebody up. No. We saw a guy. You know. I guess he was taking it in for the day. He was at the gas station, you know, filling up the truck and had all this stuff on the trailer. So I was like, go catch him. 
So and also the doctor went over there and talked to him. Boom, boom, boom. He said what to do, when to call him. We did it. He was like, okay, I'll be there when I get off work. Because I, I guess this was his second job. You know, he got a job job. So he was like, okay. I'm trying to think. Did he come that day or the next day? I'm thinking he didn't come to that next day. So, he come. Everything was fine. I said, so, I'm going to see you in two weeks, right? He was like, okay, yeah, two weeks, no problem. Two weeks come. We don't hear from him. So we like, you know, well, you know, it's two weeks. Let's call. People do have stuff going on. So he say, oh, did your wife say two weeks? Boom, boom. He say, yeah. Then you talk to my wife about coming back two weeks. He like, okay, yeah, you know, I ain't going to argue with your wife. If he say two weeks, it's two weeks. I'll be there tomorrow. We still wait. Okay? I don't get it. It's crazy. And that's not it. Even with people that apply for jobs, the doctor will call, talk to them. I have an interview with them. They say, yeah, I can do A, B, and C. They either don't show up or they get there, don't know what they doing when you said you did. You know, they quit midway through the jobs. Like, I just don't understand. All grown, grown people. We got to do better. You have a small business. You want it to grow. You don't have nothing but your word. And if you don't have your word, you don't have nothing. Seriously. Seriously. I always told my kids, even when they was young, and it's probably more so because they were boys, but I told them, if you don't have your word as a man, you don't have anything. Always keep your word. Keep your word when you say you're going to do something. People respect you when you do that. You respect it. They can depend on you. They know when you open your mouth. They don't have no worries. You know. So I don't know. But it's bad. Always have your word. Never mess up your street credit. Some may ask, well, what is street credit? Street credit is where you go other than a bank when you need a loan. Be it your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your nieces, you know, aunties, uncles, whoever, your friend, that's street credit. That means it's not an institution. You can get that faster than you can get credit from somewhere else. But don't mess it up. If people loan you money, pay it back. You may have to go back.
don't mess up your sweet taste. We all have had to ask somebody for help here and there. But once they know you're not paying back, <laughs> as soon as they see your number show up, they're like, hmm, they already know it's a no. You got to know that. I tell my kid, and they grown. I don't have a problem helping anybody. Me or the doctor. But when you say you're going to pay it back on this day, we just expect you to see you on that day. And that's just it. We don't need you ducking and dodging. Just pay back when you say you're going to pay back. Because that's your word. And the one thing a person can't take from you is your word. You in control of that. There's a lot of things in the world we ain't in control of. But your word is something you in control of. Your beliefs and your word. Hmm? Your beliefs and your word. This was awesome. Oh. And I'm bread and butter pickle. Come on. Y'all know I got that from B-Love. Mrs. B-Love. Ever since I've seen her put them on her tacos, I've been eating them. Oh, yeah. And these are really good. McClure's pickles. They're really good. So, again, I would like to apologize um, for the glitch in the video yesterday. <laughs> I really don't know what happened, but I do appreciate people who still watch. Oh, excuse me. And are watching. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much to all, uh, all of my members. I really appreciate y'all. You just don't know. Because when a person trusts you to give you what they worked hard for, hey, it must be appreciated. And I thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. I know the doctor thank you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, to the ladies of the, and the channels of Slay Timber. Hey, let's get it. Let's go. Let's keep going and move forward. Whitney G. Sis, I want to thank you so much for participating with Slay Timber. We all truly appreciate you, sis. And so if it's anybody here that has not seen Whitney G., I will have her information in the description box. She does exercises. She is awesome. Her personality is beautiful, is bubbly, but not overly bub bubbly. She's professional, you know, and she does exercises with people like, you know, they'll be on the stream yard or whatever platform she on and she'll do it live. And you can see her, she'll be talking to them, asking them, are they okay? You know, you good? You know, showing them how to do stuff. She's awesome. I love it. And I told her one day I'm going to get up there and do it with her. And I am. <laughs> so check out Whitney G and everybody else that's a part of Slate Timber and my awesome members. Check them out as well because they are freaking awesome. They'll be in the description box as well as any information in regards to MRTV that you may want to know. So, let me get my last sip. Until you guys, just like always, you all have a blessed day. Peace.